So, heute pflücken wir Schokscherries. Schaut euch das an. Full, 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 full with berries. And then back there, another whole bush full with berries. Ah, so good. So, here's all the berries washed, all the shock cherries. We collected lots. I'm guessing that's five pounds of shock cherries here. <laughs> nice. Take that out. Good morning, guys. Uh, so, you seen that we collected some fruit the other day. And, uh, Today we're going to make a, a, a fruit paddy. So that's a way of uh, preserving food in nature just by the power of the sun. And uh, for like about a month or so when you do it in the summer and when you do it in the fall with fruits in the fall then uh, you can obviously store it over the whole winter. So uh, yeah, I would say I have a pail of fruit here and uh, yeah, in there is a uh, raspberry, sea buckthorn, that's this yellow stuff. I have some blueberries and I have shoke cherries and I also have uh, Saskatoon berries in there. So uh, let's get at it. So that's a really simple thing anybody can do, you know, we just need to mush the fruits. So, you see, now we have a mushy thing there, but I do the rest with my hand. So, this is kind of the end result, the fruit mush of this, it's still the one or the other 
berry, whole berry in there, but it shouldn't hurt it. So well, now we get this rock, right? And then all we need to do is spread the stuff out on the rock. to get the one or the other berry which is still whole to be squished. Mm, just big enough the rock. And on a day like today, it was like about 30 degrees Celsius in the sun. We can expect that to be done tonight, maybe. But pretty close to be done. So the sun will do the rest. I wash my hands now and I see you guys later. Yeah, at the same time I do some more jerky. It's drying nicely in the sun, you know. They can see probably, maybe you can see it, I don't know, you can see the flies and the wasps going at it. That's all good, that's okay. Uh, Nothing will happen, there will be no, uh, you know, spoilage or whatever because of the flies. The sun with the UV rays kills all the bacteria and viruses they might spread, right? That's a natural process. The flies come to the meat, which sun dries, also to the fruit, there will be wasps and anything you know, that flies and likes sweet stuff will be there. That's all fine, that's all part of the deal, part of the game. You know, the main thing is that on the end is more left for you, that you can survive a situation, maybe lost in the winter and you got a, you know, you shot a deer, I mean, can dry, dry the meat in the fall, I mean, not in the winter. In the winter it doesn't dry in the sun, it freezes, so, yeah. Here's a fruit paddy. <coughs> yeah. And this will dry now in the sun. See how it turns out. You know, natives did it primitive way, just like I do it here. Whatever fruit you have, you smush it and you put it on the rock. Or on a birch bark, right? And later when it's dry, you can break it up and put in, uh, store it in little containers out of birch bark. Okay guys, see you later. Hey guys, this is now four days drying. 
all the fruit is dried through. It's kind of like a little jerky texture. And uh, from this side it's still nice and, and red, and this side kind of brownish. But uh, that might be to do with some minerals from the rock. It doesn't matter. The main thing is that it is tasty. I know it doesn't look really appealing to a modern person eye, but mm. there's all the soaked sherry pits in it, but it tastes wonderful guys. Mm. All dried by the power of the sun. I did nothing else with it than just mushing it together and put it on a rock and put it in the sun. And this will, uh, if you put this in a nice bag or something now, or a little birch bark container, um, this will last you uh, like three, three months I guess. Well, so you have fruit for the winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with just the stones because I did it with the shoke sherry and uh, it has so many pits in it but if you do that from uh, pitless fruits you know, other berries, raspberries uh, blueberries and stuff mm, you don't need to be so picky eating but um, it turned out well. I'm happy with it. I'm really pleased. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, then uh, leave a I don't know, like or a subscription. And uh, the next video from the Buffalo is coming up soon, by the end of the week or so. And uh, yeah, here we go from there. Have a good day, guys.